नमस्कार वसुंधरा तलवारे आई एम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कोच एंड अ योगा लाइफस्टाइल एक्सपर्ट नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द फर्स्ट योग सूत्र ऑफ द 196 नाइंटी सिक्स योग सूत्र बाई पतंजलि ही हैज वेरी स्मार्टली डिवाइडेड द योग सूत्र इन टू फोर पार्ट द फर्स्ट पार्ट विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड अ पाद इज कॉल्ड द समाधि पार्ट द समाधि पाद and the very first yoga sutra of it is 1.1 which goes atha yoga anushasanam unlike english language which has very limited meanings and words in it our sanskrit language has many connotations to a single word to a single statement and depending on what state of mind you are in what stage of life you are in you will take the meaning as per that variable so in this case the word atha the first word of the first yoga sutra means now there are many books written on the power of now aren't there so similarly patanjali stresses on the word now in this present moment now so forget about the past forget about the future but be present right now and listen to what i have to tell you and he then he follows with the rest of the sutra and 195 other sutras so that's the powerful word that he uses at the beginning of the sutra which is now now atha have three three connotations one of the connotations is that pay attention to me it's to bring your attention towards me so the word can be used stressing now so look at me if you're busy crouching down and looking at your phones and whatsapping people back then there were no whatsapps and facebooks and instagrams but there were birds trees animals to distract the disciples so he stresses on saying now so bring your attention to me i have something important to deliver the second connotation of the word now atha is to express authority so patanjali was like now i am in charge i am the boss look at me i have something important to say so that's the second connotation of the word atha the third connotation of the word atha now means if there is something new that you want to talk about there's an introduction of a new subject there's a change in topic you introduce that with the word now so that's exactly what patanjali has done here with the word atha followed by that is yoga anushasanam now we all know what yoga is yoga is yuj uniting yourselves with the higher subconsciousness with the universe with god with almighty with your own inner self call it whatever but it's yoking yourselves towards something higher something more subtle something more powerful than you are becoming one with it living in integrity not in disintegration but integration that's integrity that's yoga a very simple definition that i have stumbled upon and i love it is yoga is all about being comfortable with who you are not wanting to change a single bit about you which you can't change of course there are habits there are traits there are many other aspects you would love to change for the better but there are some that there the way it is it is and accepting that and loving yourselves the way you are and the way you are not is yoga so yoga anushasanam now what does shasan mean shasan means rules and regulations for example in our country in india we supposed to look right and left and then cross the road that's rules right we are supposed to stop at red signal we are supposed to drive when it's green signal we are supposed to stand when the national anthem is going on there are certain rules and regulations that are followed by a community that's shasan anushasan is self disciplining yourselves for example waking up at 5 o'clock sleeping at 10 avoiding eating outside drinking loads of water uh, reading a book a week so on and so forth these are disciplines that we want 
ourselves to follow. They are not imposed by ourselves but they are self-imposed. So that's Anushasana. Now the Sutra Atha Yoga Anushasana means that now in order to practice yoga you have to follow certain disciplines else you will not be able to follow yoga. That's exactly what Patanjali wants us to to be aware of right in the beginning that if you don't have Anushasan, if you don't have self-discipline, you will not be able to practice yoga, the union with the ultimate. So your base begins with your core habits, your disciplined way of living. And there are many, many, many books out there written by the Western coaches and so many others about powerful habits, about waking up at 5 a.m., about uh, having the right food, about thinking the right thoughts, about conducting ourselves the right way in our society, within ourselves, cleaning ourselves the right way, not just body, but thoughts, our environment, keeping our energies up, the whole bunch of things that one can follow in order to raise one's frequency. And when you have become that, following the yogic pathway becomes that much of an uh, easier task and a pleasure. So that's the first Yoga Sutra for you. Hope you've learned something from Atha Yoga Nushasanam today. If you have, please share it with your loved ones. I will follow up with loads of inform information on yoga. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Love you.